hello guys so welcome to another video so in this video we are going to make a model of a, a museum so wait a sec i will show the museum image so that you can also have a clear idea so it's museum somewhere it's like uh, this museum has been located in mexico city so we are going to make uh we are going to make this model in rhino 3d and uh, we are also going to see uh, how to get this pattern that is like the model is fine we can do it in two or three commands but i want to show you something like i want to make uh, i want to show you a tool called planeling tool which is a plugin for rhino i feel it's been useful for grasshopper so i want to teach you that also uh, so we are going to see how to make this pattern in the model okay so I'm just going into the download. So where is the image? Wait a sec. Mm, yeah, okay, this is a screenshot. Wait a sec. The So we are. Uh, I just drag the image inside so that I can, so that I could place the image. So the image is being placed. So this is just a top elevation. I mean top view of the model so that I can trace out the uh, shape of the model. So I'm just using polyline. So so the polyline has been used. So, so the polyline has been done and used like this, yeah. So I'm just drawing a, maybe a shape, which is of the, I'm just raising the shape without considering the fillet one. So if the shape is not been filleted, then it would be in this shape. So only I'm just drawing the corner so that I will fillet it by myself according to my comfort because so I'm just drawing the shape like this. So, so this is fine. So I'm just adding the image. So the image is been hidden. So I'm using fillet option. So the, I'm just changing the radius to maybe a 20. So. So the radius has been changed. Maybe this is too much of radius, so I'm just changing it to maybe fill it to 10, which is fine. So I'm just changing the plot option. So this is fine. So now I'm going to do this. As it is, as, as well as for us. So, so the shape is done. So I'm going to use offset right now. So it's been offset. Now I'm just dragging it down. So. Now I'm using fillet again, but not with the radius 10. Maybe I am reducing the radius to 5. So I'm just reducing the radius to 5. So the radius has been reduced. So now I'm going to create loft. So I want the point to be here. Yeah. And this point just dragging the seam. This is said to be the seam point. So I'm just dragging the point like this. Okay. So now uh, you can see the arrows are all in the same direction. So the arrows need to be in the same direction. So if, if while doing loft, if you see any one of the arrow in the opposite direction, just go and click flip and click the point of the arrow which we and so. 
that's the way you you will just flip the arrow because the arrow need to be uh, in in the same direction all the three arrows so be careful while doing that then after pressing the loft now i'm just giving it normal now i want it to be rebuilt with maybe uh, 25 control points so now i'm just changing it to shader so you can see the shape so wait a sec maybe i'm going to do the loft again because this is little bit high no. uh, yeah okay this is fine so i'm just reducing that so uh, so this may be the right one so i'm just using loft so i'm just dragging the seam as i did before the seam has been dragged so the same way the seam has been dragged the same way the seam has been dragged so so the model is done now i uh, just be i am just giving it a little bit tight and i'm giving an option called rebuild with by default it will be in do not simplify but i'm changing it to rebuild with okay so it's been rebuilt now we got the skin now we need to create the pattern so in my rhino software the paneling paneling tool has been installed already but uh if you want to install i'll just say the procedure uh just go into the browser now just type uh food for rhino so food for rhino so this is the uh, website which you need so you just accept the cookies and now you just type paneling tools so this is the paneling tool so this is a plugin you need to install it so you can uh, so you just need to log in so if you use rhino 7 then go for the updated version uh, if you use uh, rhino 6 then go for the updated version because the first one is always the updated version you can see the date so this has been launched in december 12 and uh, december 2019 this has been launched in uh, now maybe i think so october so that day when they update so it's like the they will also update the software so so this is the way you just log in and just download you'll get a this login button will change into install when you log in into the website so then if you install if you press the install it will automatically open the rhino software and it will ask for install so that's it so so now uh i want so i want to make a so i need a hexagonal pattern to be placed here so before placing that i need some reference control points to to make the pa pattern so i am going to give pt that is point grid uh surface point grid uh, surface where is the surface grid surface domain number okay so it's asking to select the surface to divide i'm going to divide this into uh, maybe in a u direction i need a 30 control points in the y, uh, v direction i need around the 90 control points so it's asking for group you need to be aware so that if i can if i click a single control point so it will be group so which is so useful now we created the reference point for creating the pattern so so i'm just going to draw the x again uh where is the x again Hmm. Maybe I'll go and type polygon. So polygon. So hexagon is six sided figure. So so maybe I'm. I don't want this much work. Maybe I'll just scale it a little bit down. Maybe I just make an offset. So this is fine. So now I'm just using copy command. And now I'm just placing it all over the box. So, so it's been placed. So copy it's been placed. So it has been placed over here. So now I'm using line command.
so I'm just using this line command so so that I can trim it trim the bubble which I don't need so I'm just trimming the this part this part this part this part this part so I'm there it's kind of an honeybee pattern so I'm just so this is the pattern which I this is the shape which I need so I'm going to use a uh, PT plane uh, PT plane PT plane grid custom wait a sec PT plane grid uh, sorry PT panel grid custom so it's asking for the selecting paneling points so I'm just asking I'm just clicking the paneling points now the paneling points is asking for the base surface I'm just giving the base surface now it's asking for the curves so this is the pattern which we are going to create so now you can see so with the reference of the point the pattern has been created now I don't need the point so I am just adding it so before adding this I am just animating the drawing which is the image because I need to draw the roof I mean the cover so I am using polyline so I am just raising it so I am just dragging it above fill it so I am just giving 0 0.5 so, so this is fine so now I'm just clicking so before I'm, I'm going to create loft but before giving loft command I'm going to start turn on the record history so due to as I actually I, I showed what the record history will do in the previous previous video itself so so I'm just pressing OK. I'm just dragging a little bit down. So this is fine. So now I'm just deleting it. Now I'm just deleting this guy. So now I'm just selecting this and using cap. So it has been done. So the model has been done. Just say your comments about the model whether it matches or not so thank you for watching the video have a nice day tata bye bye